What's going on guys, it is Murder Inc here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to be talking about Under Priest Brogni, once again, the hyped video I talked about from my last video, showing you in the clan boss, and this is the kicker. We're going to be using no healing champion, so no continuous heal, no leech buff, no lifesteal gear. And we are simply going to be sustaining this entire team with shields. And the key component to this team is going to be this upcoming fusion under Priest Brockney. I am so excited to show you guys. I think it's so cool. So let's talk about the champions we are using here today. This isn't going to be some free to play team. It is using some really cool champions, but this is simply a showcase to show you how strong this new fusion is. As you can see, we have Alton lead Valkyrie. We do have Iron Brago here, one of the previous fragment champions, Draco Moore and finally under priest brogni the combination of all of these champions together is what i found on a one-to-one -one ratio counter attack team we're not using a two-to-one ratio team we're not using chris to extend the buffs we're not doing any of that this is down to the basics old school hard hitting damage dealers surviving as long as we can going one turn each with that counter attack we have the attack down from Alton here, we have defense down, weaken in the poisons from Dracomorph. We have Iron Brago with that amazing passive increasing the defense on everybody. We have Valkyrie stacking an insane shield on people. This is the awesome part in synergy wise. We have Under Priest Brogni extending the amount of shield that's going to be on Valkyrie here. So one key thing I did in this setup here is I made sure under Priest Brogni was using his A2 ability to increase the size of the shield after the first AoE. So the clan boss is going to hit once, it's going to lower the shield from Valkyrie, eventually one-shotting all of it. Then Under Priest Brogni is going to use his A2 ability, he's going to extend that shield based on the damage he's doing here. It does say Grow Shield, I think that's really cool because I don't think I've seen Grow Shield before. And then he's going to wait for the turn before the stun because once we get to the later rounds, you're going to see that most of the damage in the shield from the clan boss onto the team is going to be pretty much depleted. That's where Bragni is going to reapply, overwrite whatever existing shield's currently there to protect what whoever the stun target is. On top of that, adding that block debuff. And it's like I said, it's so cool to see. This team actually works really well on a one to one ratio team. We do have the HP burn from Under Priest Bragni. We have the attack down. We have four poisons, defense down, and weaken. So we have enough debuffs to not override ourselves, to not ever run the risk of losing that attack down debuff, which is going to be vital to this team. If we lose attack down, maybe we can survive since the shields are so big, but it's not really something I'd want to gamble with at all so this team is really cool i can't wait to show you the final numbers we're getting here and one benefit we are getting here is the attack up buff on dracomorph he is an attack based champion now while defense up is going to help the majority of the champions here being valkyrie alton as well as iron brago the attack up is definitely going to be crucial for dracomorph using his abilities because he can't hit quite hard if you give him 100 percent crit rate but we're not really focused too much on damage for dracomorph what we really want is to get the maximum value out of his poisons his defense down his weaken making sure he survives long enough to get amazing damage onto this boss so in the last video i did show you the stats of under priest brogni as well as Alton, those stats haven't changed at all, but for this video, we do have Iron Brago here, so let's go over his stats really quick. He has 42,000 health, 6,200 defense, 195 speed, 111 crit rate. I really couldn't get it any lower, and trust me, I tried. 158 crit damage, 133 accuracy, because I didn't care about his attack down. We do have Alton in that role, so I didn't want to overlap there. So this gear isn't too crazy. It's very easy to stack defense on a champion. I was more worried about my low HP rather than I was the low crit damage. Ideally, you'd want the crit damage higher, but these are his stats for now. He is in fact wearing stalwart gear and a broken set on top of that because I couldn't find a decent enough two-piece for him to use. And as far as his mastery goes, he's using a typical clan boss mastery tree. The only thing that's slightly different is he does have a variation of the unkillable clan boss masteries where he does have increased damage taken, where it does increase the damage he does if he has that secondary poison from the void affinity clan boss on himself. Now, let us go ahead and talk about Dracomorph's gear see what he's up to he is also wearing stalwart gear in a speed set his total stats are 32,950 health which is on the low side a little bit scary 
4,184 attack because we are getting attack up. So I wanted to not completely neglect the damage. Make sure we're ramping here, getting a decent amount of damage in. 3,800 defense, 200 speed, making him the fastest of the team. 110 crit rate, 204 crit damage. Nothing crazy on the crit damage part. And finally, 244 accuracy. As far as the mastery goes, it's going to be nothing different than all of the other champions here. We have the typical offense and defense tree for Dracomorph. The next champion we're going to talk about is in fact Valkyrie. She has 48,131 health, 6,897 defense, 191 speed being the lowest on the team, as you could expect with the counter attack champion, 107% crit rate, 173 crit damage, and the rest of the stats do not matter for this specific champion here. She is in fact wearing 4 pieces of stalwart and 2 pieces of immortal gear, because I was a bit worried about the amount of health she had, because as we all know from one of my videos in the past, Health is definitely greater than defense as far as survivability goes. As far as masteries, it's going to be the same for her. Some people like to go the support trait for a bigger shield. I personally would not recommend that because the amount of survivability you do get from the defense tree over the support tree is very hard to kind of neglect and pick support over defense for that personal survivability because if Valk dies, obviously your key is in fact over. Alright guys, so now that we've gone over that, let's head back to the video and let's watch some of the gameplay sped up until we get to the end and wait until you see the final damage here. Once again, no heals, simply a shield from Valkyrie for two AoEs, the shield for the stun from Under Priest Brogni, and finally the small amount of heals that everyone is going to receive whenever a champion takes damage. It's incredible to watch, so I will see you at that damage recap screen, and we can go over the individual damage of all of these champions here. All right, guys, so there we have it, 54.22 million damage on Ultra Nightmare Void Affinity. How incredible is this? One-to-one -one ratio. This isn't a two-to-one team. It's not an unkillable team. It's brute force teams that I love in the clan boss personally. We have Alton here doing 10.3 million damage. Iron Brago doing an amazing 11 million damage. Under Priest Brogni coming out of nowhere doing 7.8 million damage. If I wanted to stack crit rate and lower the shield amount, I definitely could. Valkyrie doing 8.6 million. And of course, the MVP Dragomorph doing 16.4 million damage in this key like i said completely mind blown that these five champions can get away with doing what they do yes they're all legendaries yes they're all very good at what they do but we're talking about no healers under priest brogni does have the heal from the shield but you have to realize that the amount that they're getting healed for isn't really enough to call them a healer 754,000 heals over the entire match is a lot, but most of those heals weren't even being effectively used. They were just overheals from the earlier rounds. So give me your thoughts on this team. Do you think this was as cool as I personally do? I love to see it. Under Priest Brogni, once again, that we saw from our last video and from this video, a more of kind of a whale version of the last video, showing you the potential this champion has in the clan boss alone. We haven't even talked about Arena, we haven't talked about the game-changing presence he's going to have in Faction Wars. All of that's going to come right before people start getting this champion. After the fusion's already live, I will do an in-depth champion spotlight, but this is just to show you, get you hyped for this champion if you want to fuse him. Clan boss is a hot topic, it will always be. Everybody loves clan boss, so this is what you can look forward to for Under Priest Brogni. And I had so much fun playtesting him. Let me know what you think in the comments here. Who would you swap? Who might you want to use? Imagine this guy in a 2 to 1 ratio team, 54 million damage in a 1 to 1 ratio. I can only imagine what a Mashald would do in this team, a Seeker, all of this synergy and potential this guy can bring to the clan boss scene overall as always guys if you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe like this video turn on the notification bell so you're notified when i drop my next upload and i will see you all in the next video